The thought of leaving came to me while I was stopped at a red light. I had another five minutes before Ummi would call, wondering precisely how far from home I was. Five more before she called again to double check, then ten before I was grounded. I turned to look out the window. There it was, the train station I passed every day. I had only ever been on the train once before, on a school chaperoned trip to San Francisco from where we lived in Sunnyvale. What if? But my thoughts were elusive, and I gave no words to them in my mind. I simply turned on my blinker and switched into the empty lane beside me in a daze. Faintly, I told myself, you'd never dare. Faintly, I thought I'd turn back the instant I entered the parking lot. Brown kids didn't just run away. But I found myself parking, then pulling the key out of the ignition. Thoughts swarmed my mind, incoherent buzzing, turning into pro-con lists and consequences. I closed the door to my thoughts and opened the door to the car. It didn't seem real, like when you know you're mucking up a drawing, but you keep scribbling anyway, knowing full well you could toss it and start again. I grabbed my bag and stepped out of my car. My phone rang. Ummi, the screen read, vibrating in my hand as I held it. My finger hovered over the accept button. Then the ringing ceased. My body was fluid, dreamlike. I felt nothing. I turned my phone off and dropped it onto the seat, then slipped my keys into the sunglasses holder. Nothing. I went to the kiosk and bought a train ticket. I got on the train, my bag bumping against my leg as I walked down the aisles. Nothing. I sat. Still nothing. Then the train began to move. My breath was sucked out of me in a clean swoop, anxiety filling my lungs. I suddenly stood up. Blood pounded in my ears, too loud and too fast. I curled my toes, fighting against the anxiety, holding it back. Breathe, I thought, breathe. I forced myself to take a breath. Get it together, what the hell? I loosened the stiff muscles of my fingers, spread my toes flat, and straightened my back from its crumpled state. Inhale for seven, hold for six, 